In this video, we will learn more about airworthiness, airworthiness of an aircraft. What is airworthiness? It is nothing but a certification to ensure that an aircraft is fit to fly. An aircraft is capable of operating. That is a certification given by some ruling body. What is it and what are all mentioned in the airworthiness that we will learn through this video. Okay. So, I think you remember in which annexure this comes, airworthiness. Ikawa annexure number 8 deals with airworthiness of an aircraft, airworthiness. So, what is it all about? Actually, airworthiness means there should be some certain standards, basic standards to be maintained or to be followed which makes an aircraft fit to fly. That means every part should be working properly. Primary controls should be working in a uh, in a faultless manner. Every everything should be almost near to perfect, near to perfection. So, so that is so basically the, uh, we can say that is the airworthiness. So, airworthiness means something more also. For example, standard of every country need not be same or equal and uh, uh, concerning this airworthiness. But there should be some uniformity for easy trade, leasing, etc. If all the countries are following same or similar standards, then it would be easy for the countries to take over aircraft from other countries. Even operators can acquire aircraft, is used aircraft or any aircraft in any condition from other countries if they are maintaining certain quality standards. So airworthiness must be of utmost importance. And ICAO has laid down its rules or its standards to be maintained. If a country is allowing airworthiness certificate to an aircraft of an aircraft the standards must be higher or equal to ICAO standards so that is the catch in between in this in airworthiness so to which aircraft this airworthiness certification is applicable it is applicable to heavier aircrafts which are heavier than 5700 kg. The minimum weight is 5700 kg. Then air, air, air version certificate is must to make it fly. It is the INCAO basic standard means minimum standard to make an aircraft airworthy. It should be above 5700 kg of maximum takeoff weight, maximum certified takeoff mass, MT or W, maximum, maximum takeoff weight, sorry, equal to 5700 kg plus, okay, question may be asked like up to 5700 kg, or over 5700 kg, it is over 5700 kg. This is the minimum. Minimum weight should be 5700 kg of maximum takeoff mass. So, then comes uh, the national provisions of certification of airworthiness. India has got framed its own rules which are above the ICAO standards for the certification of, for the airworthiness certification of aircraft. The owner of, owner or operator of an aircraft may apply to DGCA for issue or renewal of certificate of air, airworthiness in respect of the aircraft on for the validation of a certificate of airworthiness issued elsewhere in, the, in respect of the aircraft. If the aircraft has got airworthiness certificate from some, somewhere, from elsewhere, we can 
apply for air birth certificate in India, in India also. If the standards in those uh, in that country where the aircraft is prior uh, registered priorly, where the uh, air birth certificate is obtained prior, is valid in India also means it is up to the ICAO levels. Then India will also consider giving the airworthiness certificate to the aircraft. The DGCA may validate a certificate of airworthiness in respect of any aircraft that may be imported. If an aircraft is being imported, DGCA may be validating the, uh, the uh, airworthiness of the aircraft. He has the right to validate the airworthiness of the aircraft. If he has found that the validation is false, of the claim is false, then he may deny the uh, airworthiness certificate issue. Suspension or cancellation of certificate of airworthiness and its continued validity. There are some reasons when DGCA can suspend or cancel the airworthiness of, a of an aircraft. What are they? One, when the aircraft fails to comply with these rule, uh, these uh, statements, then the DGCA can suspend or cancel the airworthiness certificate. So, what are they? Ceases, when an aircraft ceases or fails to confirm with the requirement in respect of operation, maintenance, modification, repair, replacement, overall process or inspe uh, inspection applicable to that aircraft. Or is modified or repla re repaired otherwise than in accordance with the provisions of rules. If an aircraft is not repaired or not fitted with certain devices or not maintained properly as per the standards, then the DGCA can suspend or cancel the airworthiness certificate. Or if the aircraft suffers a major damage that is beyond repair, if it is repairable, still DGCA can suspend the airworthiness certificate till that repair has been done accordingly. According to the provisions, if the um, um, repair has been done, then the, re, uh, the suspension will be removed and the aircraft will be again fit to fly. Or the aircraft develops a major defect which will affect the safety and performance of the aircraft. An aircraft is suffering a major defect or major impact or something. Then the DGC can easily suspend the airworthiness certificate of the aircraft and make the aircraft not fit to fly certify that it is not fit to fly and if there are reasonable doubts for the DGCA on these grounds then also the certification may be suspended what are they one suspend or cancel the certificate of airworthiness in respect to aircraft when the component or repair or replacement of the, the parts or repair of the aircraft parts is not done according to the specification laid down by DGCA, then the DGCA can cancel or suspend the air, aircraft airworthiness certificate. Then an aircraft shall not be flown during any period for which the certificate is suspended or cancelled or deemed to be suspended. For example, if an aircraft has undergone a major hit, which the pilot knows or the engineer knows that the aircraft may not be fit to fly, then it should not be flown. Whether uh, whether it is suspend, uh, the, whether the aircraft airworthiness certificate is suspended or not, it doesn't matter. If the pilot knows or if the engineer knows that it is not fit to fly, then it should not be flown. That means if the airworthiness certification is uh, deemed to be susp uh, suspended, if the um, uh, operator suspects it has got a major damage which makes the aircraft unfit to fly then it should not be flown okay then based on specific request aircraft can fly as per these conditions for example DGCA can permit an aircraft to fly from one place to another if it is fit to be fit to fly as a ferry means just uh, for the sake of repair and all. It can be allowed flying from one place to another. But in that time, you, you cannot uh, uh, conduct flying for rem uh, remuneration. You can't do normal operations. It is just to carry a aircraft from one place to another. 
just to trans uh, transit one aircraft from one place to another for repair purposes. And then comes the DGC can authorize the flights for checking the aircraft whether it is free to fly. Special, uh, specially uh, permitted pilots can fly the aircraft to check whether it is uh, flying safe or not. As a test, they can conduct flying. For that also, special permission is required. And authorized flight for special purposes. DGCA can authorize flight of suspended aircraft, means air, uh, uh, flight of aircraft in which the aircraft certificate is suspended. DGCA can permit flying for special purposes as per the DGCA concern. Then comes the Director General of Civil Aviation may uh, by general or speci uh, special order exempt any aircraft from the operation of any provision of this role. DGCA has exclusive right to uh, allow or disallow, to permit or not to permit an aircraft from flying. And uh, if an aircraft is suspected that for the public interest it should not fly, then the DGCA may cancel it from flying may make it not worthy for flying. That means the DGCA can cancel the airworthiness of an aircraft if the public interest is against that. Okay. So these are all about uh, airworthiness of an aircraft. Airworthiness. So remember which rule, which ICAO Annex deals with airworthiness. It is ICAO Annex number 8. That is a um, most probable question which can be asked from this part. Then comes the minimum, maximum takeoff weight uh, uh, of uh, multi engine aircraft for which airworthiness certification should be there. That is 5700 kg plus. The minimum weight should be 5700 kg, minimum takeoff mass. I'm sorry, maximum takeoff mass should be 5700 kg at least. If the aircraft is a multi engine aircraft, the maximum takeoff weight of that must be uh, equal to or greater than 5700 kg. Okay, that, that, that two questions are most important from this chapter.